because God will do lie. I can live in some place. Amen. I am where I'm at because I've kept God's word. Yes. I don't have to think. I'm so distressed that people have to think. You know why? Because I trust God's word. I don't need to left. Yeah? I hate to leave the right. I hate to leave the my own understanding. But in all my ways, from the age of 15, I acknowledge God and He was directing my path. Yes. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Life. Because our choices was contrary to this right yes. Amen. 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 All the religious talk we had. Amen. Amen. All the scripture we was quoting. Amen. You find yourself in trouble because you didn't have this in your heart. Amen. Amen. Yes. David said, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I will not sin against thee. And if, if, if Christ is in you, the hope will go away. Amen. 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 When you hear somebody talking, you realize, hey, Amen. that person don't have the right spirit. Amen. Amen. That man, that woman, yes. don't have the right spirit. Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. 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 The people in the church right now, I pray for people to say, when it's time to build the church perfect, you see what God do for me here? I will do this and yeah. that and that. But listen to me, I ain't gonna yeah. let speak yet. Richard. <laughs> true. <laughs> that people are gonna buy ten. That people are gonna, oh, can I not my name and squeak? Amen. Go ahead, straight again. Amen. Yeah, most of me, how speaking all that I'm here. I sacrifice, I just pray, I just kiss. I, 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 Because they fear us and not just us, but they do us. And hey, all we have in this generation is a bunch of talkers and no doers. I just hear from God. I just prophesy. I just preach. I just teach. Then what have you built for God? What have you established for God? What has God used you to do? Amen. I hear your testimony, but where is the testimony of the people? Because God has saved you to heal yourself. God has saved you to save yourself. That's right. Amen. True. Amen. 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 Go on. Amen. Amen. Go on. Go on. Go on. Yeah, John from the days of Moses. Go ahead. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 We have Moses, brother and sister there too. Amen. We just hear from God too. Amen. But when you was in Egypt, how come you wasn't here? Amen. As God said I deliver you come out of Egypt to start here. Amen. Come on. Begin to break the chain of command. Amen. Break the one who God anoint, the one who God sent. Amen. 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 Let's read this tonight. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever you yeah. shall bind on the earth shall be bound in the heaven. And whatsoever you shall loose on the earth shall be loose in the heaven. <coughs> How are we binding things? Amen. Amen. How are we binding them? What shall we bind with? On the earth shall be. How are we binding them? 
Paul reminding them the weapons of warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty true. Remember my opening term, God is His Word. One of our most formidable weapons is what? Prayer. Let me hear you tonight. Is what? Prayer. How come when we stand to pray, you're so silent? Prayerless life. Prayerless in your home. Prayerless in your job. That way, every type of witchcraft working against you. Every type of demon spirit working against you. A prayerless life. A prayerless man. A prayerless woman. Jesus said, he didn't say I come in the mind for you, he said whatsoever you. Because he is in you. Jesus is in you. Let the neighbor say, Jesus is in you. Christ is in you. The home of glory. Under him that is able to do what? Exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can think or dream or ask for according to the power where the power working. The power that working in us. That power that will work in you is by the word of God that lives and resides in you. The word that you are living, the word that you are becoming more like Jesus every day, day by day. I am like Jesus. You sing this song, Lord, make me more like you, but we don't mean it. Amen. Our heart is not in it. We don't mean it. Come on, come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. 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 Jesus did have a, a, a peaceful life according to the world. You know what was his peace? To heal the sick, to raise the dead, to preach the gospel, to go from here and there and declare the good news of Jesus Christ. If we met again, he said, I give you peace, not like the world give it because the peace that the world gives is temporary. Sometimes you, you, you just buy a brand new car, you was very happy about it. Amen, hey, you're very happy. Hey, Amen. I'm sure you stay for you care about that car again. Amen. 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 You work hard, yes, to build a house 20, 25 years. You amen, amen somebody, sweat, blood and tears. Then you have back problems, knee problems, amen, blood problems. You have diabetes, all kind of disease. Amen somebody, am I speaking to somebody? Amen. You work hard, and even when you live in the children game chapter, why? Gospel, all kind of problems inside of it, because that piece is temporal. Yeah. 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 I'll tell you what happened when the hospital finished. Yeah. And after you're done, after you dream and your goal was to build this nice house and to furnish it and all oh, this nice thing, and, and when you finish, you can see again. You're peaceless again. Because it's temporal. Amen. It is temporal. Amen. It's not that God don't want to have it, but it is temporal. But, amen somebody, but your heart, your affection is on that, your longing is on that, amen. your love, your compassion is on that, and the work of God is undone. Amen. Amen. Not even in other people's life. God has a work to do in your life and it didn't finish. The work that you start in your life is not finish. Whatever caused you to get saved, that work. It did not finish. Because it was too busy laboring for temporal things. It's not that God didn't want you to have temporal things, but you put him last. But you yourself, your body, yourself is a temporal being. It will age, it will get old, it will rot in. It will die. And you still put him last while knowing all this. Oh, Amen. I have seen people work hard to mind and raise children their whole life and when they become 
educated and send children to turn against them and keep them out. Amen. To bring in a man or a woman. Amen. I, I ain't talking about the thing I guess I'm talking about the thing I know. Amen. Because you might you might amen somebody, you might give birth to them. Amen. You might try and teach them. Amen. But you don't know the voices they're listening to when they go out there who they're taking heed to. And because you all your whole life was just wrapped up on, on family and friends and all the things and party and everything but son and daughter and no time for God, no time to pray, Amen. no time to worship, no time to, to defeat the enemy in the spirit realm, Amen. no time to bind them in your life Amen. and bind ancestral curses and chains and pray that God will guide your steps and, and guide them to the right people and the right friends. Amen. You didn't have time for that. So the spirit of the world take them, possess them. Destroy them. Until you have nothing. You come old and feeble and miserable. Never do nothing for God. Still unhappy. So much regret. But the Bible answered it for you here now. He said you only labor it for the meat that will perish. He said, but what about? What about that which is eternal? Tell the neighbor, so what about? What about? What about that which is eternal? What about what, what are we doing about eternal things? What are we doing about our salvation? What are we doing about the, the body of Christ? Amen. 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 What are you doing? What are you doing about your salvation? What are you doing for the body of Christ? For the gospel of Jesus? Tell the neighbor, you have to give a comfort of your home. Men, you like to do it, like to read books, you like to listen to inspiration and channels. The more you know, the greater the price you have to pay. The more knowledge you want from God, the more revelation you want from God, the greater the price of your judgment. Because he will, he will ask you, what have you done? What did you do with my word? What did you do with it? Ask anyone, what are you doing with the word of God? Is it transforming you? Is it, is it transforming others? Is it changing others? Are you doing? Amen, someone. Amen. 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 And Jesus said, I've given you power. Then what should I be doing? Minds on the earth shall be bound in the heavens. And so when I stand up, we begin to pray. Amen. In the spirit realm, I faith. When we come in agreement, we are binding demon spirits that are operating in your life. And some of you will not open your mouth to pray and bind these spirits. You will look around because you don't understand what is happening. We have to become a spiritual force for the enemy. If we say our clean spirit out, we command them out. Get my young spirit out. Spirit of rebellion out. Spirit of strife out. Spirit of envy out. Spirit of jealousy out. Spirit of chaos out. Let's 
Let's look at, at the metaphor of, it, of Elisha and Elisha after the three and a half years of, of drought in the land. Amen, somebody. And Elisha, the servant of Elisha, going, after Elisha went and put on the street, Elisha was praying. Amen, somebody. Amen. And he was kneeling down. Amen, somebody. Amen. And while he was kneeling down and praying, he tell his servant, he said, go. He said, go and look to the eastern yeah. side and tell me what you see. And he said, he said, I see a fire, a cloud, fire, fire, fire. But it didn't look like a great clock. And he begins to pray again and he sent it back and he said, go and tell me what you see. He said, I see the cloud come a little closer. And he come by and he went down on his knees again. And he begins to pray. The mighty Elisha, the mighty man of God, had caught fire from heaven and, and shook up. Amen. All of Israel and the army of, of the Syrians and, and Jezebel and, and kings who are afraid of him. The mighty Elisha had called wolves, the evil children that was mocking him. Amen. Even his faith was tested many times. Amen. And he went on his knees again and he began to pray. And he told the seven Elisha, go and tell me what you see. He said, when I see the clouds, it's like a change a little bit. Amen, somebody. And then the fifth time he went and prayed. And he sent him back and said, go and tell me what you see again. He said, I see, I see the cloud in the shape of a heart. And it's coming down this way. He went the sixth time. He said, go and tell me what you see. He said, the hands start to get bigger. Amen. He said, go the seventh time. He said, I see a storm coming. Amen. No more drum, a storm coming. Yeah. And, that, and that's why when we come here, Praise. I see sometimes uh, we pray here and people are by the shop sitting down. Yeah. 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 And everybody roaring and crying out. And you look at Benny Hinn, same thing, he met somebody. And the, his, the difference in him is worship. Amen. Amen. Everybody worshiping and crying. Amen. Amen. Weapons God gave us. Yes. Yes. Everybody worshiping. And when you look at right hand bounty, everybody praying and crying out and praising God. And when you look at TV Joshua, everybody commanding devils out. And when you do so, people that are drop all that in chair and all the, the demon hiding in their life. Do you not know there's demon in your life hiding? Yeah. In secret places? But amen, somebody. But listen to me, it takes that level of agreement. This is what we're going to see here now. Verses, verses 19. And again I say to you, that if two of you shall agree on the earth. Yes. Agree. Why are you waiting on me? The, because God called me and sent me to you. He didn't just send me to pray for you. Either. He sent me to preach to you. Yes. 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 And sometimes you have to preach more than you pray. Because I can pray until my voice go and nothing can happen. Amen. Because what I use when I pray is God's word. And what I've got to correspond in your heart is you yes. believing that Amen. word. Yes. And you practicing that word. Amen. And you keeping that word. 
Are you living that yes. word? Yes. Are you wanting all of God? Amen. Listen to what he said here. Heavenly, I see unto you that whatsoever you shall find on the road shall be found in the heavens. And whatsoever you shall what bind on the earth shall be bound in the heaven, and whatsoever you shall loose on the earth shall be loosed in the heaven. So there are demon spirits you have to bind, and there are things you have to loose. You can lose some from your sickness, your disease, your blindness, your deafness, where you're crippling. But he's saying that the most important thing here, he begin to speak to, and again I say to you now, 19, again I say unto you that if two of you, then that's the prophet, then that's the man of God said, if we here shall agree, I agree that thing. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Because because God, if I'm coming up on somebody going here, to it for my Amen. Yes, Lord. 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 And today you're saying less, yes because you're in problem. Yes, go ahead. You're saying yes to Jesus today. And tomorrow you're saying yes to the devil too. Go ahead. Then he said, God's plan is not short too. It's long too. Anything short too? It's temporary. God's plan is long term, it's for eternity. He wants an, an eternal believer. Amen. An eternal Christian. Amen. Not today, you sanctify and you're holy and you have your Bible and you're walking straight. Amen. And you feel all holy because you come in the presence of the Lord. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 And two weeks after you put the father said, take a little shot now. Nothing wrong with that. Take a next one. But don't worry, the Lord will forgive you if I can just mm -hmm. next week. Mm -hmm. And you knew that. Amen. Amen. He can flex nothing wrong with that dancing. <laughs> I'll dance. Any dance in church too? Yeah. <laughs> when the Bible said no revelers shall enter the kingdom of God. Ashes on Wednesday can take away the sin on Monday and Tuesday. Amen. 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 Like he said again, I see on you that if two of you shall agree on the road as touching any end, that they shall ask it shall be done for them of the Father which is in heaven. So let us have to amen. Agreement. Oh, you need to be in the common agreement here. We need to come and we come in the service and we come in the house of God. We need the common agreement. Whether you're your first time or your third time, you need to learn. You need to learn how to pray, how to worship, how to seek the face of God, how to come in agreement on the back to the front. Yeah. We need to lead by example. If they're not doing it, you do it. You you should have got to pray. You should have got to command that devil in the name of Jesus with authority. Amen. You are in a battle. You command that devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And we are in agreement. You for me, I for you. We are in agreement in the spirit of God. But for deliverance of that household, for deliverance of that family, for 
healing of that kidney, the healing of cancer, the healing of that blind woman, the healing of that deaf woman, the healing of that crippled woman, the healing of that bone. Amen, somebody. Amen. Whatever spirit is manifesting. Whatever spirit and Satan has ever seen one man, he is the army. Amen. Come on, come on, come on. An army together, powerful, yes. vibrant in prayer. Amen. Praying in the name of Jesus. Amen. Commanding principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual host of wickedness to leave God's people alone, to leave my people alone. Yeah. Yeah. Tell the neighbor, say, you are my people. You are my people. You are my people. Yeah. And the devil gonna leave you alone. Who's a Christian? Who's a Christian who pretended? 
Let the mighty God of God. And the word of God. Preach out. You want to see Pentecost? That's why you didn't see Pentecost. That's why you see that. That is why God has to destroy the system to bring the Bible. Amen. That is why nations have to gain chaos. Amen. 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 Banks have to go in bankruptcy. Amen. Amen. People have to lose all the money. Amen. They need to steal them on their knees. Amen. Cry. Amen. 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 They who could have never fast. By the fast in the drying up. I got the hand of food. Only get the sick, I can't fast. The hand of food, and I'm going to see if they're fast. Yes.
and he will see mighty miracles and healing. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. How many of you have been coming here for the past three to four weeks? Take your hands. Three to four weeks. How many of you? Have